Today's FMCG major Jyoti Laboratories has revived talks with private equity funds to sell stake in the company. Mohit Bhalla joins us now with exclusive details. Mohit, how much stake is on the platter and who are the interested parties? Right, uh, Aisha, we understand that uh, Jyoti Labs is looking at raising about $100 million uh, and they have uh, begun talks again with uh, a bunch of private equity funds. We understand uh, some of these funds include Carlyle, uh, Bain Capital and Apex Partners. Uh, all these three funds were in talks with Jyoti even last year, uh, but a deal didn't materialize because of differences in valuation expectations. But clearly, it seems like uh, the kind of valuations we're talking about are pretty huge compared uh, to where the existing stock is trading. Uh, we understand Jyoti is actually in talks uh, to raise these funds at nearly 300 30 rupees per share so that's a significant premium uh, to the price at which the stock trades at currently um, obviously it's a combination of factors the fact that they acquired a Henkel's portfolio in India last year uh, that seems to be a pretty attractive target uh, for the private equity funds uh, they're likely to pick up uh, when a deal does materialize uh, the funds uh, either a combination of funds or one fund could pick up up to a 20 percent stake in the company and thereby obviously owning an indirect stake in Henkel India as well uh, so that's where uh, the talks are we understand that obviously Jyoti is looking at these funds to replace about 450 crore rupees of acquisition debt uh, that they had raised uh, when they did the Henkel acquisition last year uh, so clearly this these funds would help extinguish the debt and obviously bring in some growth capital as well more, more the stock is up uh, over seven percent in fact a high of 8% as well. Uh, help us understand, you said they were in talks with private equity players last year as well and the deal didn't happen over differences in valuation. Even now, the, the price that you're talking about is a significant premium over the current market price. What's the sense that you're getting? Are private equity players willing to invest at this valuation? Sandeep, clearly uh, Jyoti remains one of the one of the uh, you know few FMCG players uh, that 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 in fact even some of the funds that are looking at it undervalue. And we've been uh, talking to uh, some sources very close to the development, very close to the deal. Uh, obviously, uh, they see a, a lot of these funds see a lot of value in Henkel India's portfolio that uh, uh, that Jyoti acquired. It seems like a portfolio that can be easily turned around and made into a, a usually profitable business. Uh, so clearly, that's where the value uh, accretion is happening as far as Jyoti is concerned. And um, obviously, uh, uh, there there could be some the deal could probably settle somewhere around 300 rupees per share there's obviously uh, the promoter has an ex expectation of 330 rupees per share um, obviously the private equity funds will try and stretch as far as they can uh, but we could see a deal actually settling around 300 rupees per share clearly because uh, uh, that's where the talks are at this point in time all right Moth, we'll leave it at that